We knew we had a good team coming up. We had lots of good group of young girls coming up that we were expecting lots from and they pulled through. It was definitely a group we expected to get close with, just the kind of girls they were. They were, everybody was super friendly, super welcoming. We all got pretty close pretty quick. We could tell it was gonna be a good season. It was a great year this year and I could not be happier. Going down there, we definitely played the best teams we'd come across. Specifically, I'd ever come across. I'd never played teams as good as the teams we were playing. Um, they all worked hard. They were there to win. And we knew going into offices that it was do or die, that there were no second chances. And, you know, it's hard, but that's how it comes down to. It's the best of the best. And everybody had a great time. And everybody learned a lot. Like, I feel like girls learned a lot about how hard they can actually play. It was a great experience, like just having all the support around you and like just knowing that everyone's here to cheer you on and whatever and then having all those parents and family members come and watch us actually play was a great feeling. We had about 30 plus fans in the stands for our first game so yeah. that's awesome being so far from home. It's definitely a great chance to play these teams because you kind of learn from them and like how they play as a team. So going off this year and playing these teams we did really helped us a lot, I think, and didn't go our way, but we still had lots of fun, and it was a great opportunity, and we made it that far. That was awesome, so. And in a way, like, even the third team, we, you know, played a beatable team, and maybe we didn't win, but, you know, it makes you super proud to be like, wow, my team could have, we could have beat them. So we tied our first game, we won our second, and then we lost our third. So we had the last two days to spend in the city. We went to an escape room with the team. We had so much fun and you know everybody became so close it made leaving the team really hard. Being on the same line, like being on the same team with each other is a great feeling. Just having someone there you can always trust and like count on and whatever. Working with a sibling is, you know, it's almost like you just know every move they're making. Like there's lots of times where I didn't even have to think I'd just know Molly would be in a spot. Um, saying that, there's definitely some hard parts to it. We've definitely <laughs> gotten to some our tussles for wars sure. <laughs> this season, but Molly's my best friend too, so yeah. it's easy to get over. and. It's it works out. Yeah, it made us such a great line this year working together and we had Kyla with us and saying that all of our lines were good. Everybody worked their hardest and we had a stellar goalkeeper who held us <laughs> in more than once this season. So everybody plays their part to get us where we're going. Um, also obviously it wouldn't have been possible without our amazing communities that surround even just this area like Dryden but Mation. We've had people from Fort send donations for sp spaghetti dinners. like. Everybody played a part into this, whether it was letting us know we could pick up bottles, dropping off bottles, helping fundraise. We'd just like to say a huge thank you to our coaches and everything they did for us this year and the amount of effort they put in days on end. It was just awesome and thank you so much. It's overwhelming the support we've received this year, especially going to OFSA. This town really came together for us. Um, saying that, it was more than just the town. It was friends, family, parents of the girls, parents of past players. Like, it was everybody. Everybody stepped up to support us this year. We had great games, lots of people showing up. Everybody was trying to share our posts to make them all seen. It was an absolutely outstanding year. Yeah.